What is the patient's bill of rights? So we like to think of the patient's bill of rights as being the middle section of the privacy rule. The sections that run through 164.520, which is notices, uh, notice of privacy practices, all the way through 164.528. Now, the other parts of the privacy rule, just, just to be complete for this video, it, are the uses and disclosures section. That's the first section of the privacy rule, and it starts at the general rule at 164.502, and it goes through 164.514. Now, the patient's bill of rights is not a term you'll hear anywhere else. We've coined that term because really these sections from 520 to 528 are due process sections of rights that patients are entitled to. So for example, the first time you visit a doctor, you have to fill out that notice of privacy practices and sign it. Okay. Now it turns out you really could get by without signing it and they would have to log the fact that you didn't sign it. Okay. But in addition to that, the, pri the patient's bill of rights has other sections that allow you, for example, to request your PHI, that you can get your PHI, your patient data, as a matter of a right. And not only can you get the patient data, you have to get it within 30 days. And if the, if the provider, the healthcare provider, doesn't give it to you within 30 days, they have to actually write you a letter asking for an extension, explaining why they need, need the extension, and then telling you when they're gonna actually fulfill the request. Okay. Same thing goes. The same thing goes if you ask for your PHI to be amended. You can ask for your PHI to be um, accounted for. You can ask for a complete accounting of all your PHI. Every time your PHI has been used or distributed, you can ask for that particular accounting. Now, why is this patient's bill of rights not really talked about that much? Because historically, very few people were engaged enough in their health care to ask for their data. Now, with the rise of the engaged patient or the e-patient, more and more people are getting involved. More and more family members are getting involved. Therefore, the patient's bill of rights is being exercised a lot more than it used to be. And what the translation is for providers is you have to have a set of rigorous processes to be able to do, deal with the due process rights embedded in the patient's bill of rights.